Hey guys, this is Simon Sage from Into Mobile. Uh, we're taking a look at the BlackBerry Playbook today. Uh, this is just going to be a uh, quick app overview of uh, what comes loaded on the device itself, as well as uh, a brief selection of what's currently available in App World. Uh, this is prior to launch on April 19th, so uh, not everything is quite available just yet. Uh, just to uh, run through what's on the playbook here, it's a 7 inch display, 1024 by 600 in resolution, has a dual core 1 gigahertz processor, 3 megapixel camera on top here, we got a 5 megapixel camera on the back, uh, we got some volume keys on top, uh, we got 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and uh, two microphones for uh, video recording. On the back here, or bottom rather, we've got a, uh, a new charging mechanism here for uh, charging it up way more quickly than uh, via the micro USB slot here. We also have a micro HDMI slot here for pumping out video out to the big screen TV. So uh, looking at some of the apps that come on here, uh, you've got the browser which uh, RIM is uh, pretty proud of, most, mostly because of its uh, uh, flash support. Um, as we can see here uh, from our, I still have this left over from our HDMI demo, uh, which you can find elsewhere on YouTube. Uh, but uh, as you can see, it comes complete with flash ads. So you, you, you got to kind of take the good with the bad when it comes to the browser. Um, but uh, it supports tab browsing up top here. Uh, it supports file downloads, the whole shebang. Um, we've got a photo app. It's got uh, full pinch to zoom. Uh, the app menu is actually kind of nice. It's a film strip of, uh, of everything that's in there. Um, I still can't f seem to find any way of, you know, sending to email or out to Facebook or anything like that. That might come in a future software update, but it's just not here yet, and I, I find it sorely lacking. Here we've got the music application. Uh, very nice layout. Looks really great. Um, browse by album here and the sound actually on the two external speakers on the side uh, is actually awesome I've I've been really really impressed with it um, you might get a, a kind of idea based on this but it's kind of hard to say yeah. so anyway that can keep running in the background if you want um, also have the camera application that will control whoop, both the back there and if we want we can turn it around and hey what's up so it's uh, it's good stuff all around um, then we've got yeah, there, app world um, as you'll be able to see, there's uh, the kind of slim pickings right now. Um, a, a couple of, uh, of good stuff has been kind of creeping in today. Uh, I, I downloaded the CVC app recently, and I thought it would be it'd be a, a nice touch, but um, it really is just their mobile optimized site. Uh, I might be able to just pull that up over here, actually. Here, CVC News. So it, it, it looks like it's just a repackaging, which is. Uh, a little unfortunate, but uh, as you'll see further in, uh, a lot of the preloads on here that look like apps are really just web links. Uh, so yeah, it's it's not exactly flashy. There's no there's no context menu. It doesn't really take advantage of the screen size. You got a lot of dead space there. Um, I'll show you down here. Uh, basically, everything from Gmail all the way to Twitter are just web links. Um, which is a complete cop-out in my book, but uh, I'm sure in, in good time all of those apps will come. Um, so uh, we've got uh, the video player. Like I said, uh, there you got HDMI out there if you want to get it on the big screen, but even on here it, uh, it all looks pretty great. This is a 720p uh, MP4. This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you about the book. What if Very I snappy. Book? And, I'm just like, and hey, keeps going in the background. You don't get that option because there's no difference I bought the own. digital rights for that book. So that's pretty cool stuff. Uh, there's also the 7 Digital Music Store here. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll find the, the layout here is actually kind of similar to the podcast app. you got kind of a featured section in the middle here and uh, some more detailed stuff down here and tabs along the top. Um, 
some uh, recent stuff that I visited from the application menu on the top there. Um, prices are decent. I, I bought an album for ten bucks. They were ninety nine cents a track, so it's uh, it's kind of standard. Um, here we got the podcast app here, so regularly syndicated uh, audio and video shows can be automatically downloaded over the Wi-Fi network. I've got a couple of episodes of Dilbert on there. Um, once again, you can search, you can browse by category. Uh, if you're into food, you can find some food podcasts. <coughs> the music application is very much the same way, the, uh, the music store rather. You can find stuff based on uh, your tastes. Uh, I find that they use the same kind of shell for the user interface in a lot of the official RIM apps. Um, the YouTube application is kind of interesting. Uh, it's uh, It still feels a little bare bones. Uh, you can't really log into your account or mark favorites or anything like that, but you can watch videos and I find it's a little more stable than uh, going in through the browser. Um, so we can pop that down and you see you've got more from you know, comments and stuff like that. I didn't really want to know what you were talking about, but yeah, most viewed, featured videos, all sorts of the usual stuff down there. Um, Kobo Books. This might be a good time to bust out the portrait mode. Uh, not all apps support portrait mode. Uh, it, it, it definitely seems that the, the default is to is to go into landscape. Uh, so I was in the middle of Sun Tzu here and I picked up where I last left off. But if I want to go back to the home here, um, I found that uh, although you, you have a tied account here, if you've already been buying Kobo books, you'll have access to all of them. Uh, finding new books wasn't uh, particularly easy for me. You could, they, they have some, some basic filters there, uh, you know, a popular biography, stuff like that. Um, but you, you can't really sort by price or um, add additional filters on searches, stuff like that. So um, that's Kobo. Um, at the calculator, it's not particularly exciting. They, they, well, that, that's not entirely true, actually. I, I find it's, it was a little more exciting than I was expecting, mostly because they have uh, new modes here. They, they have a tip calculator, which is a booming business within uh, different app markets. So you can split it up between different people, uh, decide what you want the tip to be, round up, all that jazz. That's kind of cool. They have scientific calculators with some really nice uh, transitions between them. It's like, kind of surprisingly flashy for something that's just a calculator, uh, unit conversion, which is always handy, pressure, angle, energy, you know, all sorts of helpful things. And uh, the, whoop, that means my battery's running low. So uh, on that note, uh, I will uh, point you guys towards Into Mobile's uh, full review of the BlackBerry Playbook. I run through all the major apps on here, as well as a couple of the third-party ones. Uh, again, this is uh, Simon Sage.